Welcome to this video on two quick ways to identify formula errors in Microsoft Excel. So if you're working with a lot of data, you've got some formulas, you've got some functions in place. Sometimes you get errors because they don't copy across correctly or there's an issue with the data. And if you've got a lot of information on your screen, you could have a lot of errors that you need to go through. And there's two quick ways today I want to show you in this video that you can go and identify them and then obviously fix them if you need to. There's tons of different types of errors, so it'd take me forever to go on it to go through it in this video. But let's have a look at how to identify them and two quick ways you might not know about. So the first one we're going to use is actually the error checking function, which is in the formula tab. So if I go to the formula tab at the top and just open that up because I don't have that open at the moment. Now, depending on how big you've got your screen, you might see it or it might be just an icon like mine. Remember, in the ribbon, in Excel, or in any other Microsoft application, when you hover over a function, then it's going to tell you what it is. So it's actually in this formula auditing section, and mine's not visible at the moment, but if I hover over this one that's got a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark in it, and there's a drop down, it's called error checking. So if I click on that option, this is going to then show me any errors that are visible in my document. So you can see it's already identified one there that says value. It's just not working very well. You can see I've got a number of options on the left. I can see what the error is, see what the um, cell is. I can see what the error type is. So I've got an error in value. And then I've got some options on the right. Like I mentioned, I can, he I can get help on the error. I can show calculation steps, I can ignore the error, and I can edit that error in the formula bar. So I've got loads of nice options. And what's really great about this one is, you can see underneath those four main options, I've got a previous and a next button. So I can literally just use this to flick through any errors. And you can see I've got a different one. If I keep clicking, I have different ones in there. I'm just gonna pull that down into my recording space. I can just click through the previous and next and work through all of my errors. And then once I've done them, nothing else will appear when I do an error check, which is really, really great. So that was a nice, simple one to go and help identify your errors. Remember, it was the formula tab. And then you're looking for error checking. And depending on how zoomed in or zoomed out on your screen you are, you might see the words or you might need to go and hover over the icon to have a look at it. But it's in the formula auditing section. Now, the other option, if you don't want to use that one, you can use the find tool to help you find errors. And to do this, I'm going to use the shortcut Control and F. And that will bring up my bring up my find and replace. So I'm just going to move this up to the corner. So it's in a nice position for us. And then I need to decide what to find. Now, all errors start with a hash. So I'm going to put a hash in because that's what I'm finding. So let me just pop that in. And then I want any error. So I want anything after the hash. So I'm going to use the asterisk in order to put a wildcard in. So it shows me everything after that. So let me pop that in. So you can see what that looks like. And there we go. I'll make sure this is nice and big for you. So that's what I want to find. But where do I want to find it? So if it's not open already, then click on options. And what you want is within the sheet, you can do the whole workbook if you want, but I'm just looking at this sheet, so that's fine. I'm going to search by rows, that's absolutely fine. And then I've got a number of different options, formulas, values, notes, and comments. For this example, I'm going to be looking at the value that it returns, because that's where the error is showing. And you can actually see the example on my screen right now. It does start with a hash, hash value. And that's going to give you a really great example of what you need to search for in, and, and find in this example. So I'm going to leave mine at values. I don't, I'm not going to worry about matching or anything else. I'm just going to click on find all. And what that'll do is that'll bring up any values that have the hash in front of them and anything else. And it'll give you a little bit of detail about where they are. Now, if I had multiple on here, I'd have multiple rows in there. 
And what I can do really nicely is you see when you hover over it, it's underlined, which means it's a hyperlink. So if I clicked on that one, it would take me directly to that cell. So I could then go in and fix that issue. And if I had multiple ones, I could just work through my whole list and fix each issue, fix each formula as I was going down. So really, really nice and easy. Couple of ways there to help identify and then allow you to fix the formulas if you have any errors in Microsoft Excel. So remember those two options. In the formula tab, you have error check-in and then you can use find as well. And if you use find, then remember all for, for all errors start with a hash and then use the little asterisk, the little star to do a wildcard so you find everything and then you can just work through them bit by bit. So whichever way works best for you, they both do the job. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.